All right. So this video is going to talk about the moon being in the Earth's atmosphere. So apparently um, NASA, whoever the case may be, Google, whoever, Illuminati, I don't know, are now disclosing to the public that the, the moon is in the Earth's atmosphere. All right. Now. What I don't understand is for everybody that claims to be woke or claims to be, you know, debunkers or disbelievers, flat earth, whatever you claim to be. Right. Why do you guys don't believe the powers that be when they say something? But as soon as they say something that proves your argument, you believe them. So you either you don't believe them or you do believe them. You can't have it both ways. Either they're lying or they're not. So the same people who told y'all the earth was round that y'all don't believe is now telling you that the moon is in the earth's atmosphere and you guys are losing your mind. Well, this video, this video right here is to decode that so you guys can understand because apparently y'all don't watch my videos. So let's get into it. Huh? Yeah. Nobody playing games with y'all. All right. So let's do this. Let me find it. Boop, boop. Cool. So first thing we have to understand is we have to understand what is an atmosphere. So before we start talking about atmospheres, we must talk about all the spheres. OK, so there's four major spheres. There's the geosphere, which is the, the matter, the earth. OK, and, and mind you, this is all kind of like elements, too. So peep the, the, the coincidence. The first sphere is geosphere, earth. The next sphere is hydrosphere, water, the oceans of the earth, sphere. They're talking about spheres, homie. That's what they're saying. Spheres. OK, the next uh, sphere is the biosphere. That's where all the living things are And the sphere. After that is the atmosphere. Now, mind you, they're saying that the moon is now in the Earth's atmosphere. But what you have to realize is there's many layers of the atmosphere. OK, so let's go into it. Um, let's see. Let's see. There's the troposphere layer of the atmosphere and you can read this and pause it if you want to see how many miles it is and what it contains and what it's made out of mostly nitrogen oxygen carbon and carbon period the next level is the stratosphere it's where the ozone layer is the next level after that is the mesosphere and there's actually more the thermosphere there we go and you can pause this at any time so you can get the specifics of what they say and and, and again Anytime anybody tell you some shit, who knows what it is? So I don't believe numbers. You know what I'm saying? Me, you never see me quote numbers. Well, the sun is 754,000 miles away. Feel me, family? With that being said, you never see me quoting any numbers because I don't know. I've never measured it. I can only tell you what I observe. And that's what y'all should do. You guys are crazy. Let me finish. And the last, the last sphere is the exosphere. OK, so by they by these people telling you that the <laughs> that the moon is in the Earth's atmosphere, it's like, duh, you just don't know what the atmosphere is. You think the atmosphere is something close. Okay, idiots, not you, not the dots. I'm not talking to the dots who come to the page and understand. I'm talking to everybody else who just believes whatever. See, the dots know the dots connect the dots. Let's move on. Let's move on. See. And let me let me just hold on. I'm trying to find the right, the right, the right one, baby. OK, let's get let's get a visual. Let's get a visual so you guys can understand. OK, that might not be clear, but here is an example of the spheres when you're talking about earth, water, air and fire. Pretty much that's what you're dealing with. And fire just means light. Let's not forget. So the atmosphere just means the light. We're going to keep it pushing because y'all don't y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Here's another picture so you guys can under, get a better comprehension of what we're dealing with here. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, don't pay attention to the numbers. They're just numbers that they are giving you. Who knows? Land, water, air, fire, light. That's what we're dealing with. OK. All right. Another example. See, there's different layers. And this is just the atmosphere alone that's broke down in different parts. 
Okay, the atmosphere alone broke down the different parts. See where the planes are, see where the asteroids are, and see where the so-called quote-unquote satellites are. Okay, let's not even get into that. If that exists or not, that's not that's not the point here. All right. Okay, we're gonna get back to that in a minute because y'all don't understand what's going on. Listen, listen, Linda. What in in this video right here? I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. This video right here, this video right here is going to make the moon video come faster. But before I come to the moon video, I'm going to have to break down some things. I'm going to have to break down the tree of life. OK, I'm going to have to break down the tree of life and I'm going to lightweight go into that here, but not too much because of what I'm dealing with. Now, look at these spheres here. This is the tree of life. OK, this is the tree of life. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. This is really what it's about. If you study the tree of life in the Kabbalah, this is what it's really about. Now, at the bottom, you have Malkuth. Malkuth is the earth. Number nine, what you see is Yesod. That is the moon. OK, you have Nadzak. I'm going backwards. You have uh, Hod, Nadzak, Tafret, J Javora, Hased, Bana, Hokma, and Keter. Keter is the source, okay? And there's a reason why I'm going into this right now and it's gonna make sense in a minute, let me go back. What you don't really realize is that even though this diagram of the tree of life is, is put out very two-dimensional, it, it really isn't like how you we're seeing. But, but with that being said, let me just go to this picture right here. You see how it tells you that you see how at the bottom 10 is Malkuth. That's the, the material world. That's Earth. You see how number nine is the moon. Right. That's the foundation. But what you see, these lines that are connecting each sphere, these lines actually are indications of light and sound, meaning there's a sound connected to each path of light to get to each connecting sphere. OK, I'm, I'm going to tell you why this is important in a minute. So that means that you can either chant something or you can actually use the mental to ride the wave of light to get to the next sphere. OK, you got me. All right, let's go back. Now, each sphere is connected to a planet. You see what we're looking at here? You see the Earth at the bottom. You see the moon. OK, you see the other planets. And at the top is Pluto. You see you see right here where Saturn is. That's that's. <laughs> what you what, the the God that y'all pray to that's what that's that's what that is but we gonna get into that when we do the tree of life video and that's damn near gonna come next because y'all forced it to come with this bullshit now you see how each connecting line is lit up because that's light and remember like I said each each connecting line has a sound or a chant in Hebrew that goes along with it don't get thrown off by that Hebrew word now See where the sun is? The sun is not the end all be all, just, just so y'all know. But there's a reason why I'm showing y'all this and let me get into that. So remember, don't look at this like how it is. Remember, each sphere is connected by light. Instead of looking at it like this, how this diagram is, is very two dimensional. You have to look at it in a three dimensional sense. Like, let me find it. You have to look at it in a three dimensional sense like this. So instead of the lines connecting it, looking like the tree of life, it actually is like this. So that center sphere is where we're at. The next sphere is where the moon is. The next sphere after that is where the sun is and so on and so forth. That's really how space and this universe is, is made in reality. So don't look at these as circles. Look at this as bubbles. You see? So, it, of course, the moon is in the Earth's atmosphere there are plenty of spheres at least 10 at least 10 y what i don't understand is y'all oh my god motherfuckers claim they so woke but don't do no research not even research fuck research motherfuckers say they so woke and don't do no observation Damn, I got to do this. I got to show y'all. Man, it just, it's just telling me that a lot of people lazy. They, you lazy to pay attention. How you so lazy you can't pay attention? 
What I also want to point out is this. There's also spheres around the spheres. So don't look at this as circles. Look at these as bubbles. OK, and look at the top where it says the negative veils, the iron sulfur, the iron sulf and the iron. This is the condensation of these bubbles. This is the densities that they keep talking about the waters, dude. Like I said in my metaphysics of the permanent permanent video, this planet, no matter what shape it is, is surrounded by spheres. I said it. These spheres are condensations or, or densities of atoms, particles. So just like how we can wave our hand through water, we can wave our hand through air. We can wave our hand through all of the spheres, but they are different densities. This is exactly why they can't travel in space. They don't travel in space in spaceships. That's a lie. Have they been to the moon? Maybe, but they didn't go in a spaceship. They probably haven't even been, but they didn't go in a spaceship. They use these lines that I'm showing you that are lines of light. Somehow they figured out if they have went, if they went, which I doubt. But how to get there is not through machines. You can't. It's impossible. Y'all don't y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all not paying attention. Y'all just watch the videos and be entertained. No, pay attention. OK, like this video, like this picture. This is a very mundane look at what I'm talking about. But what I'm trying to tell you is Malkut is the earth. You see where they have the moon, your soul. Yes, it's in the sphere. Yes. I Look, this picture ain't new. I didn't make this picture up. But for those who know what you're talking about. It makes sense. See, scientists are just now telling you what this is. This is not new. This ain't new. Look where the sun is. The sun is Tefidet. Look where it's at. See, all these are planets inside of spheres. See, there's mo There's so many spheres. It don't make no sense. So what they're telling you is the moon is in Earth's atmosphere. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with people, man? And look at this. Look at this diagram. Now, this is now this is for the advance. You see these letters in between the planets. You see that y'all damn near getting the tree of life video right here. Y'all cheating. No, nah, but I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna give y'all the tree of life video full fledged. I need y'all help, though. The next couple of months is going to be really rough for me. I'm going to be in a transitional period. I won't even I won't even be around a computer like I need to be. As you can see now, I'm on my phone. But my whole point is this. If y'all want these videos, because the apparently society needs it because people are. I don't know. People don't want to. Pay attention or people don't want to observe. So I guess I got to observe for those who don't want to do it. I'm sorry, but I'm just fucking frustrated. It's fucking sad. Anyways, back to the picture. Look at this. You see this? You see the, the you, you see the, the 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 Hebrew letters in between it. These are the paths of how you get there. You don't fly there. There's no flying. Oh my God. Space is space is the the car the, the the physical manifestation of the void, the nothing. Period. Period. Carbon, melanin. That's what it is. You can't fly through that. Fuck is wrong with y'all? I, I ain't talking about the dots, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what the dots do. We connect. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about anybody who just accidentally clicked on this video for whatever reason. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I know I'm going off on a tangent. Okay, we looked at that. We looked at that. Did we look at this? We looked at that. You know, I think I think I'm done. I, I, I think I proved my point. I think I proved my point. You know, I, I just look, I do this so y'all don't feel lost out there because there's just so much information that keeps getting bombarded and thrown at y'all just because you think you see it on the news or YouTube or fucking Google don't mean that that's just it. Look into it. Damn. 
All I did was type in layers of the atmosphere. But I already knew this shit. But all I did was type in layers of the atmosphere and everything I needed to know was right there. Come on, use your smartphone to be smart. Damn, it ain't for fucking Instagram and fucking... Yeah, listen, you have the entire... Well, not the entire, but you have so much knowledge at your fingertips and you're just shitting it all away. Makes no sense. All right, man. With that being said, I'm gone. Type it in. Layers of the atmosphere or layers of the earth, spheres of the earth. And you know what I'm saying? And just take a look, man. You don't got to believe nothing that I say. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's really telling you the whole thing right there, man. The horizon of eternity. Look, I just clicked out, clicked on that on a fluke. The sapphiric, look, it, it, this ain't nothing new. <sighs> All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gone, dog. I'm gone.